you know, I believe in doing what you are paid to do. If you are paid to do something, I believe you should. You agree to it, you should do it. Now, when it comes to doing all the extra stuff, no, nah, you ain't got to do all the extra stuff because you wasn't paid to do that. Now, if they say, hey, we'll pay you to do this if you know how to do this and this. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. But I think you should give a person what they pay you for. And you should do it well. That way they don't feel cheated. You don't feel cheated. But don't let nobody take advantage of you. Don't let nobody... Uh, benefit off of you to the point where you are doing, uh, making pennies and they utilizing everything you got, even your tools, your equipment, your money, your body, <laughs> everything. I mean, and, and man, don't let them folks do you like that. I mean, because out here in the field, contractors, superintendents will try to, you know, push their limits. You know what I mean? But you have to realize that. If you really want to get something done or you want to move up, you show them your work ethics. But you also have to know your value. So know your personal value. So if you ask them for $20 and you know you only work $15, do not don't get the big head. You see what I'm saying? But if you work 25 get your money. You know what I'm saying? Because you work there. And when you go out there to show your work ethics, when you work, they're going to be like, ooh, he was worth every penny. You know what I mean? This guy's getting something done. So, I would say this. Know your value. Give what you pay for. And if they cool, go the extra mile, help them out. But when they are assholes, just give them what they pay for. Call it a day. Hog off.